Any questions for Coach Ryan? Did you get what you wanted against the 1-3-1 in that little stretch where they were coming out of timeouts and playing it? Or would you have rather had yeah, something else? Yeah, uh, we broke down every shot we had against Illinois. When we hit a cold spell, I'll break down these shots right here. And I'm telling you, I, every guy in that locker room knows you got to hit a couple of those. And there's not a basketball player alive that doesn't thrive on that when you take away the inside and you kick out or you skip across. Um, and you, you got to nail a couple of them. So, was that? I used this before and uh, nobody thought it was, they didn't care. But I was like, are you kidding me if I had no shots while I was playing? <laughs> well, I mean, come on. If you're, and our guys are good shooters. They're, it's, I, yeah, I thought we had some real good looks. All four of John Lohr's threes. And he, he doesn't have the quickest release. He had plenty of time to set and get uh, and stare down the rim. And it's not just him, but I'm just saying, there's a guy that you know has pretty good form, pretty good shooter. It's one of those days. I think the ball movement and the cutting was, was as good as it was a week ago. Not as good. Uh, they played it a little differently. we got a team that's so athletic and, and long in Penn State and their seniors. And all those guys are on the same page, so that's not even that the boat. Well, it's two making, different games. I'm sorry, if you're not making shots, you at least got to crash the offensive glass. It appeared that you guys did a good job of that early, but it appeared that from I mean, most of the second half, the Penn State shut you guys out. Just effort in that, in that area? Uh, no, positioning. Okay. You know, they, they're they used to playing that, and they're used to getting their responsibilities. And we kept a couple balls alive, but not enough. You guys shot a uh, battle down in the first half, and then in the second half you kind of got out there. What? Well, you, what yeah, and he hit some it? shots, and he got some confidence, and then you know the ball was in his hands, and he made some plays, and he, um, you know, we've seen him do it before, uh, and we got guys that can do it. I've seen Jordan Taylor be in that same position and do some things that, that are like Taylor battle. So you know, and there's guys in the league that do that, and once he got some confidence and played off of that. And then they got the ball to him when he inbounds very quickly, and uh, he goes to the line, and he hit five out of six down the stretch. You, you got a good look at his personality in the USA basketball. And he seems to thrive on moments like that. He's never a kid who shrinks out from a moment like that. Did you did you know him? You didn't really know him at all until you, you got him in, the, in that program, right? And what did you learn about his personality? That you oh, I knew him before like? I got him at Serbia. I, I do FBI background checks <laughs> on every player in Illinois, Purdue. I know where they go, which which hand they use the most. I knew a little bit about Taylor. He's, he's fun to coach. He's, and plus, he had a chance, along with the rest of us, to find out what adversity can really be like over there and still play hard, play well, go six and one. Such and as? People always remember the one. Give me an example of the adversity, just in you know, generic terms. I don't have to be specific. But just, you know, it's crazy tough. Crazy crowds. It's, yeah. And we are who we are. And it's an older group. It's not like 17 and unders, 19 and unders. It's teams we played against, very big and physical. Um, and they were tough. Your guys shot three free throws, Penn State shot 20. How tough is it to overcome a deficit like that? In the game? Well, when you're playing from behind, you tend to shoot more free throws. So I, I've never been one to ever complain about the number of free throws. Because when we shoot a bunch, it's because teams are fouling us and they're trying to exchange maybe a three for a two. or. By stopping the clock, found, and you got to go to the line, you got to make them. So, I don't, they were, they were playing uh, off and uh, guarding the paint pretty well. And teams that have done that to us, and we hit the outside shots, we kill them. I mean, we have killed, when I say kill other teams, my coach that I played for called a one point win a crush. We crushed the other team. So whether you win by one or whatever, when we're hitting outside, and then 
any other team, same thing. You got to stretch the defense, then you find you're probing, you're looking for what they give you. Penn State didn't really play well in the non-con. They've kind of taken off in the league, and all their quality wins are in the league. I don't know how they'll be judged by this committee, but do you have any input on down the line, having seen them? We're not even finished the first half of the yeah, Big no, Ten, so I don't get home. i got to figure out some things about Purdue on the flight home. Uh, we got our next game. We're uh, getting ready for that. And, Pretty decent if we're if we're multitasking on the uh, offensive end, inside and out. Makes for a different game. You can look at 20 games today and break them all down. And watch a couple before we even came over here. Anything else for Coach Ryan? Wisconsin players will be available outside of our locker room. Thanks, Coach.